Good morning, afternoon or evening, depending on what time of day you're watching this, or indeed whereabouts in the world you are. I'm Mod, with me today I have a very special guest. Say hello, sir. Hello, it's me, you are so if I DF. Yeah, I've got DF with us today, and um, I must say now, once again, but also for the first time publicly in front of everybody, thank you very much DF, because it's DF that purchased this for me, and I've been looking forward to this one for a long time. Thank you, buddy. No problem. And we're playing this today through the power of Skype. I'm playing it on my head, and DS is watching through a screen share. And this is going to be us playing this together for the first time, I suppose. There's one criticism I have straight away though. If I go to video options, there's no 720p. At the moment, with uh, the way I play on YouTube, recording, and all that, I like to record in 720p. I've only got 768, 800, 900. There's no. Um, Graphics Ultra, please. Fucking accept. Hmm, Ultra that's kind of odd. Yeah, I wanted 720p, so come on, sort it out. Anyway, um, we've got the usual options. Single player, multiplayer, mods. That's one that's coming up in a lot of games lately. Mm -hmm. Other, I imagine, will be credits and all. Yeah, credits, replays, Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. I haven't played any Civilization game since Alpha Centauri, which, funnily enough, this is the spiritual successor to Alpha Centauri. Mm -hmm. So, what we've we got then? Play now, set up game, load game. Let's go into set up game. Let's see what options we can have. Difficulty. Sputnik being the easiest, and it goes Mercury, Vostok, Gemini, Soyuz, and Apollo. I suppose Mercury is a good start. Okay. Game pace standard. We've got quick, standard, epic, or marathon. Standard is good. Always. <laughs> we can't play marathon on uh, recording, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. And map size. We got we got um, random map size, dual which is two players, dwarf four players, small six players, standard eight players or massive, eight players and more open space. I'm a big fan of open big worlds, but we want to find people as soon as, so we will stick with small. Yeah. And then we've got to designate our sponsor. This is something new for Civilization, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't seen this one before. Do you know anything about this at all? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm quite new to this. <laughs> Well, we've got um, a list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sponsors we can choose from. ARC, conv covert operations are 25% faster, blah, blah, Pan Asian Cooperative, 10% industry, is that? I'm going to guess that little nut there is industry. Production towards wonders and 25% work speed. That looks handy. I'm looking on Franco Iberia, though. Gain a free technology for every 10 virtues developed. I don't know what virtue is, though, but. It could be useful. Mm. Uh, Slavic Federation orbital units stay in orbit 20% longer. Mm. First one, large grants of free technology. Don't really care for that. Trade routes. I never do trading. Cities and outposts acquire new tiles twice as fast. Don't know what that means. Uh, I suppose that is uh, like uh, they grow in... Uh, well, they span out basically. There are Ria maybe. That's probably it. So we can lower the morale. I, I mean, uh, increase the morale of people because they are not that far away from the capital, I think. Ah, okay. Then we've got Brasilia, which is units have 10% defensive strength in melee combat, and African Union plus 10% food in growing cities when beep beep healthy. <laughs> yep. So, what are you suggesting then? Either the second or the third one. The Pan-Asian Pan Cooperative or the Franco-Iberia. Yep. I'm going to go for the Pan-Asian Cooperative. Uh, sounds good. Because I I, um, I took a tip from you a long ago when we were playing Endless Space when you said it's good to have a good industrial heart. Industrial heart. Okay, I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. Next. Choose colonists. Do you want scientists, refugees, aristocrats, engineers, or artists? We can have super production by choosing for engineers to go with our pan Asian sponsors. I was thinking scientists, though. Extra research, so we can actually get the items that we need to. I'll agree with you on that one, sir. <laughs> scientists it is next. Choose our spacecraft. Hmm. Okay, that's a that is a new one. Um. Continental Surveyor, it reveals coastlines on the map. Retrograde thrusters, a wider area for choosing where to land our first city, an additional visibility around starting area. Tectonic Scanner, 
no technology is needed to see petroleum, geothermal, and titanium resources. That's potentially useful. Because mm. I imagine at some point we will need to... Um, does that mean we have to go digging in this game at some point then? Oh, maybe. And then fusion reactor begin with 100 energy. I don't know if that's any good or not. I... Uh, so far, we don't know much what energy means, so <laughs> we'll, we'll <laughs> it might be good, but... We'll yeah. disregard that for now, then, and life form sensor reveals alien nests on the map. I suppose the, that one you're pointing at right now is the best bet right now. Tectonic scanner, it isn't. Oh, God, this, I'm going to guess that each of these is one of our options. So we've, got, we've gone through three options, we've got two more to go. Mm-hmm. I suppose once we get used to this, it'd be very quickly to just go boom, 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 setting up a game. Yeah. Wow, Sif's come a long way, a long, long way in the years. Um, ran, choose cargo, hydroponics, begin with an extra population in first city, laboratory, begin with the pioneering technology, raw materials, begin with a clinic building in your first city, weapon arsenal, begin with soldier, machinery, begin with a worker. A worker is good. Next. And choose our planet. We can have um, Katu 31E, sorry, Kaku 31E, a Terran world. A world with a few large landmasses separated by ocean. So an Earth-type planet. A protein world, a world of one ocean and one very large continuous landmass with the possibility of small coastal islands. Sounds like Pangaea. Yes. Yes, actually. Um... And then you've got a world of islands, of uh, an Atlantean world, a world of islands of varying sizes separated by narrow water passages. We can do advanced worlds, or we can rescan for planets. Hmm. I'm thinking the top, the normal Terramon, stick with what's familiar, get to know the game mechanics, and then worry about either having everybody on the same bit of land as us, or thinking about how to quickly develop submarine or some sort of water transit. Sounds like a good plan. And start. Uh, Asian cooperative was great. Out here we will be better. New days will come. New ways to add in a only time. <laughs> and get back. We'll find our niche and we'll succeed. Nothing will stand in our way. And now I will be at the forefront leading us to greatness. Wow, ego much? Who oh, is talking? I am the He's talking. Integration and Simulation Resource, or Advisor. I am equipped to Basically, DF, you, the you can't hear it, but the, the guy talking right now is an AI, point. and he's reading this to us right I can now. Provide strategic advice based on situations you encounter. I'm just reading like it. <laughs> Basically, our advisor is equipped. To, it's a tutorial system, by the look of it. Um, mm -hmm. Amount of advice you receive from your advisor: new to civilization, new to beyond Earth, ad experienced player, or no advice. I think we are um, new to Beyond Earth, at least. Don't show this window in the future, no, we'll keep that. Advice only, or full guidance? Advice only. Yeah. So, select a suitable location. Oh, he's select talking again. Select a suitable Shut location up. for our people to make planet for. This will be the site of our first great city. Select a plot within the Red Lord. Select a plot within the Red Lord to band. Um, what are cities? How can I found more cities? Where should outposts be founded? I think we know that already, don't we? So yeah. We'll, well, thank you for that. So, energy there, food production, energy there, food and production there. This one's looking like the best bit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If it's um, like you only get uh, resources on the places, uh, um, well, position yourself. Yeah. Otherwise, I would say. The ones outside the red uh, border is actually more interesting. These ones, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah. I read something about we might have to expand the city, get more tiles. So if we went for this one, actually, do we develop on the square we originally pick? Or does that square just go bye bye? I am not sure. I haven't played it. I, I mean, in civilization <laughs> in general, because I imagine that's going to stay similar. Yeah, it kind of grows after a while, but I'm not sure because of the culture is growing, but I'm not sure how it's going to be in, well, beyond our space. I'll go for this one. It's a desert on a hill. River. And we've just managed to surround, get all these in there. Oh, spaceship. Tiangong has been founded, apparently. Yeah, apparently we are Chinese. <laughs> Oh, no, I, what did I just do? What did I just do? I just right-clicked. I thought it was, I don't know the controls apparently. 
I just thought right click on it might be some sort of camera control, but it's left click and then right clicks actually send him in a direction. If you. It's possibly an automat uh, function available in build actions. Uh, okay. Constructor farm, constructor road, constructor generator, delete. Automated. That, that's what we want? Yeah. On the A key, as always, that hasn't no. changed ever. Nope. Okay, what do we want the explorer to do? Just explore, I suppose? Yeah. I'm trying to think where, to, where do we get him exploring to then? Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. Go that way. Oh, wow, that was pretty. And now we've got a another, sort, another one, do we? I thought we had another one. I sub. No, I don't think so. I suppose we only need to go inside the city and see what we have available. If there is an option. Maybe you should just click on the name, maybe. Or are you already inside? I'm already inside it. I'm double click. That's something I ah, kind of missed, you though, have to click on about, the name uh, of the city. Never mind. Right, so this is a city production screen. Eight turns until a new citizen is born. Fifteen turns until border growth. Nothing currently being produced, so we need to choose production, I'm guessing? Yep. Worker, explorer, soldier. Oh, it's all listed on the side now, rather than having to go through different categories and then seeing what's available there. Okay. I'm thinking though that energy is probably our cash. Energy available to spend. Yes, that's our uh, currency, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. So, so basically, the 100 energy was kind of uh, you only get 100 cash. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of a bad option, actually. Oh, well, how long would the 100 cash actually last you? Not that long, I imagine. I suppose it's just for. Uh, buying troops or buildings, though, it's not ex exactly meant for uh, because you have to wait for things without buying stuff. Mm. Like, it would take seven turns until we get old earth relic or something like that. But we can, if you can have, have the money, we could buy it. Your economic advisor recommends building this here. Seven turns. What's it do? It gives us culture plus two, but we cost us one energy per turn to keep running. Mm, I'm just thinking of um, having a work, another worker unit to be honest with you. But what do you think? Um, I don't think we need that right now. Uh, um, basically because we don't have that much of an RE yet to work around yet. No. And uh, maybe... Um, uh, I'm not sure. What does clinic do though? Something with research? It science plus one and health plus one. I, I would actually go for that. Okay, clinic it is. Hopefully, though, the aliens won't come and attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, return to map, I'm guessing? Yep. Choose research. Ah, okay. So we get to choose research. Hmm. I suppose it's just by clicking that you come through the research Ooh. screen. And it's kind of similar to that's Endless just, Space by the start. Wow. I don't like the zooming feature, I just one click of the mouse and it just pops out very unsmoothly. Considering how slick the rest of the game is, it's actually quite good. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yep. So, what we're looking at here is branches, and as we zoom in, they become leaves, apparently. Okay. So, we, we've got, we'll take all the purple ones of what we've got. Or what we can get? I suppose it's just what we can get right now. Because I think the uh, blue greyish one is the one we have. And the grey ones are those we can't reach. Well, I get it. If we research each of these, it allows everything on these hot branches here. These leaves, it calls it. So we've got yeah. physics. No, we don't have physics. Purple's what we can research then. Yep. All right. So we can go for pioneering, planetary survey, engineering, physics, ecology, genetics, chemistry. I'm thinking pioneering. 
because then we get colonists, a trade convoy doesn't overly interest me, trade vessel, trade depot, but colonists allows us to make more cities. Yeah, that's a good start then. Ah, uh, there we go. Is it, is it possible to queue up that's though? That's what I'm hoping to do. No, right click does that. What if I hold control? No. Shift. Shift. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So planetary surveys next. Then what's on engineering? Our military advisors saying we should do that. Ecology. Economist advisors advising that. Science researcher wants us to do that. Fucking hell, they're all over the place, these guys. They don't want much, do they? Yeah. So holding shift allows us to queue yep. stuff. Uh, I suppose uh, military yeah, might be we'll useful. And then we'll come back to it at some point. Next turn. That's quick and easy. Yep. Processing turn for minor powers. What's this? The temple doors of the Protectorate are open. Some oh, woman's what? just basically landed and saying hello. We can declare war, we can deal. We can demand, we can discuss, or we can say goodbye. Let's discuss. What do you wish to offer? What did you just say, woman? Don't settle new cities, Nelas. <laughs> well, it's kind of obvious you won't be because you're so far away. But I didn't expect them to show up at um, basically that turn is a one. Bit... Yeah. Uh, we can establish a cooperation agreement, which I imagine is becoming friends with them. Uh, publicly condemn her. She is not to be trusted. She's just turned up out of nowhere. You do not want to trust her, even though that we've done exactly the same thing and turned up out of nowhere ourselves. Or we can convince her to declare war against someone. Well, we don't meet. Uh, we haven't met anyone else. Hmm. Perhaps there are alien races we can't <laughs> meet. <laughs> this is probably just another human which comes from Earth, maybe. Ah, there we go. We can. These options look very similar to Endless Space as well, don't they? Opening borders, forming alliance. Yeah. I don't think it's too much of a yeah, difference, let's really. Let's say goodbye for now. Mm -hmm. It's also kind of similar to Pandora. Which I uh, brought you along last time. But uh, yeah, let's see what the game offers eventually. <laughs> Where have our workers gone? Oh, the workers are there. Is our explorer going to do anything? I think it's. Uh, if you want, I think it's an option to oh, automate that one as well, but maybe let's keep it been. like you explore at the moment. Is toxic. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think about that? Or now, someone is speaking yes. to you again, eh? Someone is. is basically telling us that we are in a un in a thing of miasma, this strange glowy green cloud. And what is miasma? I'm imagining it's like the um, the fungus from aliens uh, from Alpha Centauri. Uh, da -da -da -da. It's an infestation of the tower. Of virulent spores that are actively hazardous to humans and machines. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, uh, okay. Right, sorry, what were you saying, sir? I no, it was just very similar to what, uh, well, Pandora had. <laughs> it's, you know, the terrain, when you move it across, you maybe lose some life. Uh, minus 10 health loss to the Miasma. Construct an expedition here. This location has an artifact on it which awards a lucrative one time bonus that can only be retrieved with an expedition. Okay, so how does I do that? I suppose an expedition troop. So we've got a. Um... Is there a way of looking at what we can actually do there with this dude? Uh, it says uh, build an expedition. 
I suppose the um, actions are maybe... Huh. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, actually. Where am I? Maybe we'll do... Oh, wait. Expedition modules. Or do we have to wait for it to come around to its next turn? I think let's wait. we let's do, do that. that. Oh, here comes somebody else. That's kind of strange. Why do you need to explore when you get to Did you notice see the that? name on the side of the ship, by the way? It said FRXS. I reckon that's a polite little heads up to Firaxis, <laughs> the guys who made the original Alpha Centauri. Yeah, these mm. guys, this is CEO Suzanne Fielding of ARC. How may the corporation serve you? Da, da, da. Make an offer. No, goodbye. Don't want to talk to you. Oh. The unit needs orders. Yeah, probably the explorer. Ah, here we go. He's got up, uh, action options up the top here. Fortify until healed. No. I suppose it's build action we need to do, actually. Which is one above. Ah, there we go. Uh, Thank you, sir. Thank you. I, I completely did not see that until you said that, so thank you very much. <laughs> no problem. You okay? Now we see your fancy animations. <laughs> you alright though? Yeah. Alright, next turn is it? Mm -hmm. Very pretty this game. Yeah, and Skype is behaving. There's no uh, falling behind wow. today. At least so far. Nevertheless, get back to the game. <laughs> Has noticed something strange oh. nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort of wreckage, or perhaps alien in nature. Ooh, an alien! <laughs> oh <my> God! <laughs> and excavate it to see if there is something worthwhile to be found. I'm already excavating this, mate. You have a new. I think we need to wait four turns, though. Throughout the oh, game, a quest! Will trigger different quests that can unlock bonuses for your people. Do you know what quests are? Quest are they new to this or? And check back often. That's new. Right, what are quests? The quest system of Beyond Earth is intended to both enrich and inform the player. The player receives quests from a variety of sources and complete, completes them for rewards. Yeah. Hmm. Pardon me. I may be able Pardon to assist me. you. Pardon me. Go away. Um, found an outpost. For a colony to prosper, we should consider expanding. We should focus our efforts on researching how to recreate new outposts for the colony. Re They're all already doing that. Yeah. Um, our possibilities to yes. win the game. And uh, what's what's our explorer doing? He's constructing his expedition still, right? Yeah, it's taking four turns. Where's that information, by the way? It was when you were clicking on the build action. Ah, or maybe yeah. it just... Yeah. Is I wonder the animation on the worker, though. <laughs> is he doing anything, or is he just relaxing? I think he's just relaxing the Oh, ah, okay. Oh, he's, oh, he's kind of working. down the forest. Look at that down there. It looks like yep. you know the power loader from Aliens. It looks like one of those yep. caterpillar tracks. Mhm. Mm ah, the fun part of civilization where we have to keep clicking next turn. Yeah, unless you can click on enter, <laughs> you don't have to go to the lower right. Oh, damn it! Go away! I'm trying to. The place is crowded. We've discovered the. But we can't attack. Where are we in relation to everybody else? Uh, looks like uh, they're probably on our right. right. I see one, one there, one there, one there. That's the three we've got so far, and there's going to be what six players in total, I think. Quite a small map, then. Yeah, but you did this shoot a small map, though. This is true. All right, choose production. Something's been produced in our city. That'd be the civilization center thing, uh, the civil center, right? Maybe a soldier next, or whether you want to shoot something different. It's up to you. That'll only take us one turn to make that old earth relic, and it'll give us plus two culture. Soldier will give us 
Plus, well, it's just one turn as well. Uh, soldier it is then. A unit needs orders. I like that in this button here, this, this, this is the end turn button. It now tells you, you can't actually end turn just yet until you've actually clicked on everything he's doing. Yeah, I've been used to that to a couple of games now, as of late. They do that, like showing you what events need to be done before you can end your turn. Which is good. Next turn. Always bugged me in ended space that you could click end turn too quickly, but then in multiplayer with people it didn't actually matter because you still had enough time to do stuff, but as soon as everybody hit end turn, bump, that was it. We'll have to do this in multiplayer at some point because it seemed quite quick and flowing. Yes, we need to do that. <laughs> Since opening our clinic, the populace has been split by an ideological divide. Securing and improving our new territory has put great strain on both our military and civil workforces, and both contend that the hazards they face should be offset by state-sponsored healthcare. Our fledging colony does not have the resources to do both, which then has a greater need of aid. So we either give health aid to soldiers or health aid to the civilians working at home. Hmm, I'll let you decide, but I don't think there's much of this decision, though. Hmm, blood bank, quest decision. How do I actually go to this, then? Do I have to...? I'm not sure. That's a good question, actually. Maybe we should just wait until we learn more. Yes, I'll come back to that. Oh, the city of Tiangong now has two citizens. The new citizen will automatically work the land near the city for additional food production or energy. And quest decision blood bank. Ah, there we go. It's a little pop-up on the right-hand side. Since opening our clinic, so do we want to provide care for defence workers or provide care for civil workers? If we go for providing care for defence workers, we get plus 15 city hit points from clinics. And if we go for the civil workers, we get plus 1 health from clinics. Uh, what's the difference between health and hit points? Hit points, I suppose, is how much you can handle, but what about the health? Is that just for the people or what? It's confusing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to go yeah. for defense workers, because I prefer having huge amounts of hit points. Mm -hmm. Civil support is essential, but without security there would be no civilians. Our defense workers protect us and keep our colony safe while we work to improve it. Providing them with care is a small price to pay for the service they provide. You've received plus 15 city hit points from clinics. Ding. Alright, just taking a moment to look at the map now. It's very minimalist, isn't it, this game? There's no real menus or anything like that. Oh, this is something. This on the top left, I've just noticed. This is something I remember reading in a preview many months ago. This is the um, different meth different ways we can actually progress through the game. Harmony, where we try to become one with the planet. Purity, because we're pure humans, and supremacy, where we're all about the technology. And how our actions huh? determine what we do towards our various paths. That is interesting. That's one we'll have to explore, but. We're going to run out of time for that on this particular video, I think, because how long do we want to do this for anyway? We're coming up on half an hour now. <laughs> Already, yeah. Already? <laughs> oh, we haven't even researched our first technology. <laughs> Wait, wow, well, we're looking for that anyway. Um... Uh, it says pioneering six oh, turns. Oh, there, basically. right. See, Left. this is what, why it's so useful having you here, because I'm just going around, but where is this? Where is that? And you know straight away, Mark, <laughs> it's over there. You're so stupid, Mark. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. You can't, that's why. <laughs> so six turns into it. Okay, let's... um. Quest complete, yes, okay. Why can't that go away? Go away. Oh, there we go. We right-click on it and it disappears. Choose a production for Tangong. Oh. A worker, an explorer, yep. a soldier, the old earth relic, or whatever the hell this is. I'm assuming this is just uh, focusing... Yeah, like in endless yeah. space, basically. Was were, were, all, were all these features in Civilization games before? I mean, did you play Civilization Five? 
I did a little bit, but I had never made it too far in the technology tree though, so... Oh, did you start building a worker yes. or something? Okay. Oh, let's have a look at these soldiers. Is there a way of... Do you know if you can rotate the map at all? Because... Oh, oh, little bug things. Yep. They're fighting each other, hey! Let's go and interfere next turn. Uh, our explorer has found a geothermal thingy. Actually, I think... I suppose that's the yes, yellow thing. I think um, it says here that you need to return the unit to one of your cities to refill its supply of expedition modules, so we'll do that next. Just in case we do find an expedition. Mm -hmm. Our soldiers, are they going to move? Yes. They'll do it next turn. What's that? Something just appeared out of nowhere. Oh wait, crashed satellite discovered. Quest updated. Cultural burden. Our scientists have detected a weak radio signal nearby. Its signature is definitely human. We should investigate the signal source. There's no telling what we may find. Build an expedition. So we've got to go. It's a good job we're sending them back to the city to pick up an expedition module. Right. Yeah. Okay. That well, seems easy enough, doesn't it? Yeah, kind of basic. Just like what you like, you don't want to have anything too mm. advanced. Oh, they're not aggressive in any way, shape or form towards us. They're just hitting each other. That's, I like that. And assuming also there's some sort of food source. It could be. It's hard to tell. I suppose we haven't met an alien yet. I was just maybe some herbivores or some bugs. <laughs> Quite big. There's a big bugs. Alright, next turn. Oh, your unit, your unit is kind of bad shape mm. as well. I think by going through the mist of uh, clouds, you lose health each turn. So much at the same time. <laughs> so we've uh, found an orbital unit, apparently. Once launched, it will have an area effect on the tiles beneath it until it deorbits. Yes, we'll we'll worry about that another time, I think. <laughs> um, explorer, we want him to stay put until his health's come up, don't we? Fortify until healed. Yep. That'll do. We've got a rocket silo there, ready to go. The unit needs orders. Solar collector ready to launch. Okay, so how do we launch this bad boy? Launch orbital mode, unit mode, do nothing, sleep, delete. Ah, let's just put it into orbit. This is the orbital view. This is Display the, the effect areas of the units that are in orbit. the effect areas of units that are in orbit. Effect areas cannot overlap. So it is useful to plan Do you know anything about this? <laughs> this is new as well, I'm guessing. Shows your launch coverage area. No. Your orbital no? Unit must be launched over a tile with coverage. No. <laughs> is by oh. city I, I have no idea. I the city. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not. Achievement unlocked. Light this candle. Thank you. Thank you. Now, how do we leave this view? Um, ah, there we go. Toggle between the two views. Yeah. Managed quite fine this time alone, mod. <laughs> Sorry, say again? Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're just hearing things. <laughs> Aren't I always? Oh, hello. That's what. Go on, you first. That's some aliens, I think. Wolf beetle. All oh, these are bad guys. Yeah. And according to that, there, I think it's a bad idea if we go attacking them. So. Yeah, it kind of looks even. Staying made, basically an even match. Could go either way. I wonder though, is it an option to go and customize your? It's here like it did in Pandora. I don't know actually. 
Uh, orbital quests and victories. Upgrade units. Ah, here we go. I have something oh. that needs your attention. And I'm guessing to pen so we can get a marine if we want at some point. Ooh, it's gonna upgrade quite far. A centurion or a marauder <laughs> or a pastor. Depending on what level we're at as well. Yeah. Unlocks at any affinity level one is how we get the marines. So we need to get our affinity up somehow. Probably by attacking. But since we are quite a weak, uh, I think we should try and find something weaker. Oh. Uh, Go away, you horrible things. Oh, it's a nest. Bug nest, it seems. Uh, well, everything is taking so much longer now. In terms of build time and everything. It is a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I have to go for another soldier, why not? You need orders. Are soldiers, where do we want them to go? I don't know where to put soldiers. Uh, avoid the creatures, maybe. But, yeah, maybe leave the other soldier then Ooh, back in the town. In case they... Yeah. Alright, you want me to pull them back here, ish, so? Ah, yes, keep okay. him there. I'm thinking the next one you're pulling out now should maybe stay behind in defense. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. So we'll fortify these guys for now. Our worker we can automate. Next turn. Precision turn for aliens, minor powers. Our unit is healed up a bit. He should be ready to go next turn, I imagine. Pioneering. Yay. We choose progress. I wonder if we can queue up uh, items to be produced. Sure, we can. I suppose it's the same like research tree. Open production queue. There we go. Add to queue colonist. 24 turns! Bloody yep. hell. How much does it cost in energy? The colonists, basically. 186 production. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't say how much it costs, though. Oh, there we go. If just switch into the purchase tab, it will cost us 640 <laughs> energy. Yeah, yeah, you don't have that. At least we have good income, though. Apparently, it's uh, through the citizen mm. management. One turn until. Losing okay. a lip. No, no, no. You were just about saying the same One thing. One turn until border growth. Yeah. Well, not not that. But you you were just looking on the energy from the universe, like we receive less because of our units and building maintenance. Mm. Finish, but it says here we're spending three per turn on unit maintenance. So that's yep. something to bear in mind. Mm -hmm. Let's leave the queue for now. How do we get out of that again? <laughs> ah, there we go. Um, it's suppose. right there in front yep. of my face. Return to map. Go. Anyway, we've got the that oh, quest log. We need to. Oh, we need to keep going on this particular path. We need to build a colonist unit. Yeah, you could uh, do that, so... I guess we want to expand, quickly! Our explorer needs to go up to here. Next turn, we'll get this one done. We'll find out what this is all about, complete that quest, and then we shall end the video, I suppose? Next turn, he can build his expedition. Ooh, what's that? Floating rocks? You mean here? Yeah. That is floatstone, according to the little... Just up here, there's actually a little box that pops up. There's desert, miasma, mm -hmm. energy output of one, and floatstone. It's very pretty. Oh, yeah. You can say that about most of this game. It's very, very pretty. 
Well, it should be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Construct an expedition. And we have to somehow survive full turns of being attacked by miasma, miasma, miasma stuff. Uh, I think we'll be fine. Hopefully, my friend, hopefully. Yeah, I'll be fine. Mm. As soon as we build this expedition, we'll have to get the hell out of here then. Yep. This may be helpful. Keeping your citizens healthy is key to a productive colony, blah, 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 blah. That just told us what health was, but I didn't actually care. So we've expanded in this way direction onto the float stone, eh? That's cool. And next yeah. time... It's a good resource probably. Next time we expand onto this square. Or we could purchase plots of land. I assume that's so we can yep. expand ahead of our time, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of a cool feature, actually. In case you want to have something, though. Because... Uh, like the floating stone, that's a good mm. thing. But I don't see that much of uh, a valuable resources apart from that, unless we consider even further away. Like the one, uh, uh, let's see, that would be um, northwest from the floating stone. El pueblo unido de Sudamérica le da la bienvenida. I don't get this though. Why do you meet your um, AI before time. You should meet them as you bump into them on the map, shouldn't you? Yeah. Unless this is actually giving us a basic amount of technology to begin with so we can actually tell when people are landing next to us. Because that's actually something you could throw against something like Alpha Centauri. You've got all this technology and you can't tell when you've got people around the corner. That did actually bug me a bit, actually, if I'm honest. The expedition team salvaged the wreckage of the crashed satellite. Relatively intact. Give us some blah blah blah. Yeah, that's a good point. At least you know where they yeah. are. On that note, I think we're going to end the video there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Mod. I've been more sick idea. I think we'll continue this uh, for another 40 minutes or so, because I think you've got something to do in a bit, haven't you? But anyway, um, dream big, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>